This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a... The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The New Orleans Zombies battle. The Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps off sides, trying to mutilate the QB. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down this guy to the speed feed grip. He's running from his team, it's clear. Oh, <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Second down and ten. Well, that's a real buzzkill. 
Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down and, well, good luck. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Any mistakes here? Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice rim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Great run for a nine yard gain. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> Third down in. The punter is warming up. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Well, I want Sean 
kick him make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins, the one with the big... He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. It's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Oh, killer hit, literally. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cube seat. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon eggs, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. And that is caught for a first down. like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one, hot two. Third down and, well, good luck. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Hey, got blown to shit. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks. Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all.
Second down and seven. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second and three. to keep the chains moving that was beautiful first down and one and the crowd goes wild touchdown touchdown comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Two minutes remain in the half. Great, I gotta take a dump. Again, you just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man. Want some? And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. 
Alaba. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Third down and three. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> In a hurry-up offense, there's no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Second down in a very long. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and never gonna happen. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's gonna need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Damn well, God. either that or kill and yeah. cheat more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Warp speed, running game. He finds open space and running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Uh, 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <gasps> a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll be second down and four. Hit. And it's first and ten. Perfect pass and a score. Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. You do it, yeah, yeah. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First down to keep the drive alive. First and two. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Second and three. And the bomb goes off, hurting no one. Yeah, if a bomb don't kill anyone, does it still make a sound? Third down and three. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! I like 
this, they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. You know, back in the day when you scored a touchdown, you acted like a man, not some chorus girl. That's right. You looked up into the stands and murdered some big mouths who have been taunting you. You don't get that right. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! They're going for two points. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Had never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dense, Grim. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, We're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Here comes the defense. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. You gotta keep them guessing. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Just like 
like the 4th of July only with blood and guts. And that'll bring up second and one. says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. First down in a mile. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Second and three. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the freight cords and the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Uh, I forgot my point. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Second down and five. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the Q. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Second 
second down and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Yeah, <laughs> game for time. I only we get how much. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball. stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. And that's how you get your buzz on in the MFL. Man, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. First and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that is caught for a first down. First and, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. You've got to catch that. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally has to be Rich Matt Stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. It's two yard run before he stopped. And it's first and ten.
The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's that? And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crash of dawn. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And like a pow with the brain scrambler. The Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right.